and occupations, right? Your name? Giovanni Cupello, Italian. Hmm? Where do you work? I work in Ristorante dei Popoli. A waiter? No, I'm not a waiter, a cucuta. <laughs> See, a cucuta ravioli, a cucuta spaghetti, a cucuta lasagna, a cucuta everything. A chef. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel about Roman Catholics? Oh, I treat them like my brothers. Good. Well, you can go and sit next to Giovanni. But please, infidel gentlemen, please. You're here to learn English, not start a holy war. And what is your name? Mind the dog! <laughs> that under And your name? Carol Nagasu. What is your name? Por favor. No me. Ah, nombre, sí. <laughs> Trabajo. Ah, trabajo, sí. Danielle. Well, at the moment she's in the tea room with Italy, Spain and Greece trying to establish diplomatic relations. <laughs> well, I hope she's not going to cause any bother. Oh, no, I'm sure she won't. Look, I'm not going to sit here. No, it's me who's going to be sitting here. But before you were sit over there. And before you were sit over there. You take it on me. Who, me? You go back sit where you were before. No, I sit here. You not sit here. Ha. Who's going to be stopping me? Me. <laughs> Huh? Yourself? You think you're tough? Come out aside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are you going? We go outside to have a punch down. You mean a punch up? <laughs> I'm going to uh, how you say yeah, uh, knock his bloody block off. <laughs> we see who's a bloody blocker is a knocker off. <laughs> Just a minute. What is all this about? I tell you, Mr. White. Brown. Oh, excuse me. It's about where we sit. Well, what's wrong with where you were sitting before? It's uh, my eyes, Professori. I've got to sit nearer the front. Here. <laughs> oh, I see. And I suppose it's got nothing to do with the fact that Danielle is sitting here, too? She is? <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed! <laughs> You see, so my eyes, I'm a little shorter sighted. And also, I'm much a bigger liar. It's not true, Mr. Green. The name is Brown. <laughs> you see, I'm a color blind, that's <laughs> right. And Max, I suppose you've got trouble with your eyes as well, have you? Oh, no, 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 my eyes are okay. Uh, it's my ears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hearing very well. That's a likely story. What you say? <laughs> I say you both go back and sit where you were sitting before. Now. Santa Maria. Yeah. Giovanni. He is. He is a da fool. <laughs> Good, but not is a da. He is a fool. Yes, he is a fool. It <laughs> is raining. Lloviendo. It is raining. Ah, no, you have it. <laughs> We'll skip you for the moment. Por favor. Uh, doesn't matter. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down, please. Right. Téléphone, two, four, six. <laughs> <laughs> A good uh, carry-on. Susie, 
Yes, Giovanni. Was that 8021 or 8013? <laughs> uh, 8021. No, never mind what number it was. You're here to improve your English, not chat of other students. You are absolutely right, Professori. It's just... I'd like to improve my French as well. Yes. Well, you can do that in your own time. Carry on, Daniel. Thank you. Oh, there you are. You sit here. Thank you. Merci. I get the coffee. Yes. Coffee black? Thank you, please. Coffee black. Hey, I'll get the coffee for Daniel. Too bad. Sugar? Merci. Uh, how about the biscuit? You like it, the biscuit? I would like that. Good. I'll be back. <laughs> Packet the biscuits, please. Oh, I'm sorry, we haven't any left. <laughs> Daniel, um, what uh, you do uh, after class? I go and learn the English. Hey, go I'm going to learn the English as well. Maybe we learn together, huh? Yes, but what about poor Max? Yeah, what about the poor Max? I'm a crying my eyes out. <sighs> I have an idea. I have uh, lots of ideas. Why not you and Max study together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni Cupello? Ah, si, professori. No, Giovanni, not professori. No professori? No, you should address me as sir. Sir? Yes. Now I understand. <laughs> you have been to get knotted. <laughs> Come again? Well, to become a sir, you got knotted by the queen. <laughs> uh, the word is knighted, and I'm not that kind of sir. Maximilian Pap. Noire, Giovanni, he's gonna fix everything. Yeah? Buonasera! Uh, okay, who wants the homework? Only 10p each. Hey, 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 10p, no peseta. <laughs> Um, okay, who's right, next? Yeah, yeah, please. Um, Giovanni. Please, please, yeah. please. How, 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 how we know answers are right? Sure answers are right. My landlady's little boy writes them down. <laughs> 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 Most of the people are Roman Catholics. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> That's not right. No. Italy is a much bigger catalyst country. No, Max, bugged. <laughs> hey, my boss, he all the time says he's bugged. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so that may be so, Giovanni, but the word we're dealing with is bugged. Now, you not do it. It's a sin to kill yourself. Wow. It's the only course which is left open to me. When you do this uh, killing yourself? Tonight. Can we come and watch? <laughs> this is ridiculous. People don't go around killing themselves rather than break off an engagement. If it's possible, I kill myself. Oh, come on, put it in Max, Giovanni, hold us up. <laughs> Where is he? He's not here yet. Ah. I wait for him in the corridor. He... What am I telling you? Yes, I quite see your point about an elephant. <laughs> Still, don't worry, Randy. I'm sure some elephants are very nice. Can I have a nice bag, please? Yeah, promise you won't kill yourself. Promise? Killing myself is not going to help me? It's the attitude. <laughs> are you a much better idea? Yeah. I kill her! No! <laughs> and that? She's surely going to kill me? Ah, you said you were going to kill yourself. That is correct. Yeah. Now, that is a very good example of a figure of speech. Prime Minister sold a pup. Can you tell me what that means, Giovanni? He's buying a dog. <laughs> no, it's a figure of speech. Look, let me give you another example. Prime Minister sold a dummy. Do you know what that means? Sure. Did you understand it? Yeah. It's just the one thing I don't understand. Was he buy the dummy before or after he buy the pup? <laughs> He doesn't buy anything. Ah, the newspaper man's a bigger liar. <laughs> what you do now? 
Maybe I jump out of the window. You be lucky. We're on the third floor. Oh, <laughs> I'm really... No, well, come on. I'm going to join my ancestors. Well, don't keep them waiting too long. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Ciao. I'm doing it now. Oh, so you keep saying. Just have me a cup of coffee before I do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ranji, we all know you haven't the slightest intention of killing yourself. So... It's duty to be marrying me. Otherwise, I'm losing my face. I think she's lost it already. <laughs> you would buy accent? Good evening. Checked your homework last night. And I have a feeling that there's been some sort of chicanery going on. We not know what you mean. No, Giovanni, well, I'll tell you. Firstly, there's the fact that five of them are all in the same handwriting. <laughs> it's a sheer coincidence. <laughs> and is it also a coincidence that you all answered question seven as follows? Question, explain what is wrong with the following sentence. My dogs is in the garden. <laughs> Answer, I do not have a garden. <laughs> oh, me tippy. I want my tippy. We wait for Giovanni. Come and sit down, Sid. Charlie. This is Sid, the caretaker. Most happy to be making your acquaintance. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, you want a cup of coffee, Sid? I? A cup of coffee? No, thanks. No, I'd soon have a fag. Sure you can have a fag. Hey, Max, cigarette for Sid. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> Sid is going to talk to us. What is he going to be talking about? For anything is to improve our English. Instead of us all the time speak to each other, we speak or we see it. I think that's a good idea. But what are we going to talk about? You'll have to talk up. I'm a bit Martin Jeff. <laughs> Excuse me, who are these Martin Jeff? <laughs> Martin Jeff is deaf. Ah, excuse me. What are we going to talk about? Oh, I don't know. I should have seen you and rest my plates with me. Excuse me, I am not seeing any plates of meat. <laughs> no, no, plates of meat is free. Your feet are plates of meat? <laughs> yeah, it's slang, you see. It's dead easy if you use your Uncle Ned. Uh, no, 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 Uncle Ned. Huh? No, Uncle Ned, your Uncle Ned. Uncle Ned? Uncle yeah. Ned? Yeah. Oh, you mean he's crazy? No, I think you lot are, though. I think you're taking the mickey out of me. No. Well, we are interested in everything you tell us. Yeah. You're already teaching us words we not learned before. Yes, please teach us more. Yeah? All right, I'll tell you what happened to me last night. Yes, okay. please. Well, I went home and I had a bull and a cow with a trouble and strike, you see. <laughs> it was all over the dustbin lids. So I went down the frog and towed into the rubber dump and I met an old china plate. He looked a bit Uncle Dick, so I got him a Jack and a Dandy, and I had a beer and him. Both feet led to the hammer, we both got Brahms and List. <laughs> and I'd staggered home, took all my dicky dirt and my daisy roots, and fell backwards on the apples and pears. <laughs> now, we are better off talking with each other. <laughs> Isn't it time you were all back in the classroom? Oh, sorry, Bobby, sorry. We, we've just been talking with Sid. Oh, yeah, I, I've been trying to help them with their English, Mr. Brown. Well, that should set them back a few weeks. <laughs> Big pardon? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, all right. Yeah. We're not understanding a word he's saying, Mr. Brown. He's telling us about his Uncle Dick and somebody <laughs> called Jack the Dandy and Brahms and Lisp. He was speaking in rhyming slang. And all the time we think he's English. <laughs> He is English. He's what is known as a Cockney. You see, rhyming slang is merely using words that rhyme with the word you wish to use. For example, mince pies are eyes. Plates of meat are feet. Yes. I understand. Uncle Ned is head. That's right. Ah. And what is Uncle Dick? <laughs> I presume that's uh, sick. And Jock the Dandy? Brandy. And the Brahms and Lister? <laughs> A rhyme. Yeah, well, it's near enough. Come on, it's near enough. <laughs> uh, Giovanni? A lima juice. Good. Pig. Pig. Pig? You are calling me a pig? 
You are a pig, you Italian ravioli. Ah, shut your plates of meat, you Uncle Mel. That's all right, that'll, that'll do. One, what Giovanni was trying to say is that bacon comes from a pig. Sora. I think you'd better stay a half hour extra tonight. Oh, He's fried. Hey, look, there's a man in the street. Oh, right. Help! Oh, Help! 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 If he won't hear us from up here, wave to him. <laughs> He's seen us. Good. He's a waving back. <laughs> he obviously thinks we're just being friendly. What we need is something to attract the attention of the passerby. Yeah. Danielle should wave from window by herself. Yes, it still may not be sufficient to attract enough attention. It would if she took her clothes off. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. No, it isn't. Not just... But, for example, take Danielle. I would love to take Danielle. <laughs> well, what about you, Giovanni? I mean, you work in a restaurant. Surely your employer will miss you. Yeah, sure he's going to miss me. Yeah, well, so presumably he'll do something about it. Yeah. But he's going to give me the sack. <laughs> and keep cheerful, think of things to do to pass the time away. Hey. I tell a joke. Good idea, Giovanni. We'll all tell jokes. That'll help pass the time. Go ahead, Giovanni. <coughs> OK. Now, there was this man, see, and he had gangrene in the leg. Are you sure? <laughs> so, are you sure this is a joke? Sure, it's a very funny. <laughs> anyway, he goes to the hospital to have the leg chopped off. <laughs> After the operation, when he comes back to being conscious, he sees the doctor looking very worried. What's the matter, doctor, he say? The doctor reply, Senor, I have the bad news and I have the good news. <laughs> so the man say, hockey cocky, <laughs> give me the bad news. And the doctor say, I've chopped off the wrong leg. Santa Maria, the man say. Well, what's the good news? And the doctor say, your other leg is getting better. <laughs> oh, God. But that's the joke. Very droll. Ah, another Uncle Ned. Yeah. Forward. Funny story, a, a joke. A chiste. Ah, chiste. You think... Hey, Professori, why don't you tell us a joke, huh? Yeah! Oh, all right, I'll, I'll tell you one that I heard at my last school. Nice, nice, quickly. Good evening, everyone. All right, sit down. Good evening. Good heavens, Ranji, you're actually here. How many draws on the cup on? Only the eight I'm getting. Huh? How much do you win? Oh, blimey. It could be half a million pounds. Oh, yes. Santa Maria! Oh, I'm a very happy for you because you are my best of friends. <laughs> He's also my friend. <laughs> Amigo mio, hombre, when I give you one. I am the true friend of Ali. I see. Yeah, well, Ali, I don't think you're going to be able to retire just yet. You mean he's not got to eight drawers? Oh, yes, he's got to eight... He's got eight drawers, but, Oh, good. Uh, they're not all on the same line. What difference is that making? Well, that means you haven't won anything. Yeah. Nothing at all? Nothing at yeah. all. Ha! Bellos! Yeah. 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 No! Go! Yeah. That's yeah. my car. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see your book. Giovanni, Miss Courtney would like to see your book. Are you not familiar with Shakespeare's works? Is it a big place? Is what a big place? These works of Shakespeare. <laughs> I am referring to the things he wrote. Oh, excuse me. He's not here. Who's not here? What? <laughs> now, who is not here and what is not here neither? Happy birthday, Professori. Thank you, Giovanni. For you. <laughs> well, at least it's not a pen. It's a salami, much garlic, very strong. Yeah, I can smell that. <laughs> Thank you. Fat? Then what do we have? Fatty. <laughs> no, Giovanni, fate. No? 
Ya, ah, imbecile. Yo imbecile? Imbecile tú, yeah. italiano idiota. No la capito niente. If you want to argue, argue in English. Go back to Italy, you Italian spaghetti. Ah, shut up. You big Spanish omelet. I'll be as quick as I can. Meanwhile, if you'll all turn to page 83 and study the sentences giving examples of the various vowel sounds. Yeah? Uh, Giovanni, would you take charge of the class while I'm away? Sure. Uh, allow me. Thank you. Okay, I'm in charge. <laughs> Who wants a Davino? <laughs> Ten B. Okay, I stick. <laughs> Pontoon, five card stick only. What you got? Queen of Hearts, Jock of Spades. <laughs> hey, you should not be playing the cards. You should be learning the English. You've been improving your mind. You can improve my mind anytime. <laughs> How about tonight, huh? We have the meal, a couple of glasses of vino, then back to my place to make a love. That is not improving the mind. No, but it's, it's very good for the body. <laughs> I have been fired. I've been given the bullet. Ah, Santa Maria! She tried to shoot you. <laughs> no, I have been dismissed. Ah, that's... We go speak to her. <laughs> I'm afraid that speaking to her won't do any good at all. Okay. We twist her arms a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we tell her if she not let you stay, we work her over. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do nothing of the sort. We don't have mafia tactics in this country. But... Giovanni. It's very sad. Now, please, Giovanni, you mustn't be upset. I can't help it. I'm emotional. Yeah, but... Oh, blimey. You are starting me off now. Let's try again. What is this? A finger. <laughs> I go home. I, I go home too. Nine! What is use of going home? You cannot learn the English at home. Maybe I find a way. There huh? is no way. I... Very easy. <laughs> That's no good. We get blood all over the class. Principles actional. Unjust. He's right. But what can we do? There is nothing we can do. Hey, I've got an idea. What idea? We have the strike. Yeah, let's all have the strike. What is the strike? Does this mean you're going to be fighting? No, 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 no. A strike like the big onions. What onions? The trade onions. <laughs> I think your strike is not going to be working. What we are needing is to be revolting. And I am thinking you're already revolting. You are asking for a kick up the head. Hey, come on, silly. Let's not quarrel amongst ourselves, yes. huh? I know. Why not we all have a sit-out? <laughs> you mean a sit-in? Much better. Adopt policy of non-coopulation. Por favor. <laughs> you teach her a life in classroom. We know coopulate. No, as Patrick plays this one. For once, Japan, China, in uh, agreement, we now speak to new teacher. I like it. <laughs> We keep the trap shut. <laughs> Silencio, understand? She, not speaking. Not and if she wants me back, she'll have to ask me. Now, if that's all there is, I'll say goodbye. Oh, Mr. Oh. Brown! Hey, Mr. Brown! Oh, oh. I'm just uh, seeing something. I was just going to look in on your old class. <laughs> we win! We win! Mr. Brown is coming back! Yay! Hello. <laughs> Your book, Danielle. Thank you, Max. It's all right. Your handbag. Just a minute. Hey, next time you carry the handbag, huh? No, I think it suits you more. <laughs> hey, give me a kiss. <laughs> Your handbag. Thank you, Giovanni. You just missed it. We are having our photographs taken by Taro. Taro, I would very much like you to take a photograph of me. Hey, I take your picture. You have not the camera. Sure, I got the camera at home. You come back with me after the class, and we take lots of pictures, and then we can see what develops. Hey, what you say? I say no. You are learning about English, not about sex. I have it. I know all about sex. Hey, Max. The professor is mad at us. Sure. 
We must do good with these questions. Yeah, we got to get every question right. How we do that? I've got an idea. Professori has got the answers, right? So? So we get them from him. He's not going to give them to us. He don't have to. We steal them. <laughs> Because this is very important. What's the matter? Now, he's about the test we have. Yeah, we gotta do good. Otherwise, we're all in the minestrone. In the shoe. <laughs> That's right. Now, we have a plan. What plan? We pinch the answers. That is cheating. That's right. I do not cheat. Perhaps the exam is not too bad. Maybe we can answer the question okay. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey. It's not too difficult. Let's have a look. Question one. Construct sentences using the following types of clauses. A variable clause of time, noun clause as object or preposition, and main clause coordinate with first. Well, Anna? How we steal the answers. <laughs> How we steal the answers? I know. First we hit him on the head. <laughs> That's no good. We make too much mess. We've got to get him out of the class. How we do that? I don't know. Hey, let's all think. Studying hard? Professori, you're here. Yes. Sit down. Have a cup of tea. Have two cups of tea. <laughs> we'll be back, huh? Max. Come here, Max. <laughs> Look, uh, where are you going? Uh, we got to spend two P. Well, the phrase is spend a penny. Sure. I spend a penny, he spend a penny, I spend a penny. You won't uh, go near the classroom, I hope. No, Professor. And you see, I've just uh, left the answers on my desk, and I wouldn't want you to be uh, looking at them and copying them down. Would we do that, Max? No. <laughs> for taking your exam. Sure. Already. Good. Now. Uh, excuse me, please, Miss Gordon. Yes? Can I spend a penny, please? All right, but hurry. You don't need to take your exercise book with you, do you? Just maybe I think of an answer, so I write it down. <laughs> ah, here are the answers. I put them in my book already. Good. I put them in my book. Hey, I gotta tell Ali, Ranjit, one at Darrow, then at the girls. Okay. Hey. We pretty smart, eh? Sure. We have no trouble with this exam. <laughs> ah. Right. Is me next. Ali, the Greek. Ali. Come, come. Shh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Miss. Italy. Hey. Italy. Now hey. like you watch me, huh? What's going on here? Uh, we are playing the English game of shoveling the halfpenny. <laughs> Italy against Greece. She, me, arbitro. Chicken. Chicken? She, when a player is off a side, chicken. <laughs> it's a foul. Foul chicken. Name. It's not quite the same. Who's winning? Italy. Oh, good. Only just. What's the score? Six and eight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very close. What's that? Oh, it's, um, it's, uh... It's, uh, water. Sure, it's water. Water? That's wine. Wine? Santa Maria. Another miracle. <laughs> yes, well, I don't want to see that in this class again. Right, now, back to your places, everybody. Oh. Straighten up this oh. table, please. Thank you. Right, uh, rather than... Uh... On the seventh day, you rest. I rest. <laughs> you big sinner. No, sinner. See, when you die, you're not got to heaven, you go down a hell. <laughs> okay. It's more friend uh, down a hell than up a heaven. <laughs> Listen, five minutes down a there, and you'll be just another Spanish omelette. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right, little dude. Sit down to your mommy. 
I presume you did go to church? See, si, every Sunday I go to Mass. Uh, you, you're a practicing Catholic then? I not practice. I'm a perfect. <laughs> In Italy, when I was a little boy, I was going to be a priest. Really? What made you change your mind? <coughs> It's like this. One day, the priest gave a big sermon in the church all about women, girls, and the pleasures of the flesh. And the more he spoke, the more I realized what I would be missing. <laughs> It is also against my religion. <laughs> oh, another miracle, Giovanni? No, professori. We drink the health of the happy couple. You have a glass, huh? Yes, well, I suppose it is a special occasion. Eh, hey, prego. Oh, thank you. Well, what about a toast, then? Eh? Uh, we have no toast. Only biscuits. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean a toast for Ali and Suli. We have no toast for them, either. <laughs> To Ali and Suli. To Ali, Ali, Ali and Suli. What would you like to discuss? <coughs> Girls. <laughs> I don't think so, Giovanni. Anybody, any other suggestions? And the national sport of Italy? Girls. <laughs> That's not a sport. Maybe not, but it's more popular than football. <laughs> um, Giovanni, would you take charge of the class while I'm away? Sure. Good. And pick a subject. <laughs> Okay, now we talk about the girls. <laughs> Tonight, after class, we take you in at the pub, huh? Yes, and we're having a big feast. Si, sí, big fiesta. Plenty drink. It is last night of freedom. Thank you, please. But it is not necessary. I do not drink. Don't be selfish. <laughs> it's a tradition. The night before the wedding, for the bride group to be slashed! <laughs> All men are male chauvinist pig. Why you not invite us to the pub? <laughs> you make your own fiesta. Wonder what was so important for Mr. Brown to be telling Ali. And maybe he's going to tell him the facts of life. <laughs> <laughs> Ali and Suli have had a long discussion and uh, by mutual agreement have decided to call off their wedding. We've already booked the pub. We've ordered all the toast and the drinks. <laughs> Limey, yes, we have. My lovely wife is telling me that I'm going to be a daddy at last. <laughs> To the pub! Just a moment, it's not time to go yet. It's half an hour more. I say, come back. Now, what is the meaning of this? It's to improve our English. We learn all the English dances. We are learning to be twisters, to trot like foxes, and to mash the potatoes. Yeah. Also, we learn English phrases like... Uh, uh, do you come here often? And uh, who is taking you home tonight? <laughs> there are more useful English phrases to learn than those. Now, will you kindly tidy up this mess and sit down at once, all of you? And hurry. I have to tell you that Mr. Brown will not be with us tonight. <laughs> it appears that he has a virus. Oh, is that his girlfriend? <laughs> he has the flu. He is laid up in bed. The early Britons were Celtic. From Glasgow. There's <laughs> Glasgow Rangers, Glasgow Celtic. Football. I was not referring to football. I was talking about the race. No, no, no. It's not a race. It's a football. <laughs> I seen him playing for Milano in the cup. Now, don't contradict me. And if I have any more of your stupid remarks, I shall send you out of the class. The Celts were a race of people. Then came the Gauls. You see, I was all right. You have the Gauls in football. <laughs> all right, Mr. Capello, I did warn you. Kindly leave the class. Where do I go to? Well, I suggest that you go home and study your books. <laughs> now, where was I? I not hear nothing. Me too. Maybe he's sleeping. Why don't we try around the back door? Ha! Ah, back door more better. <laughs> <Let's try this. laughs> Here. Hey, his bed's still warm. Why the door open? Oh, no good. Your Raja. It's a big evil eye. <laughs> Move out the way. I open the door. Stand back. I'm going to break the door down. <clears throat> Apart 
from a touch of concussion and raging fever, I'm terrific. Thank goodness. We thought you had flu. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Why aren't you at school? Well, we finished early, so we thought we'd come and give you a visit. Oh, that's very kind of you. And we bring you a big bunch of grapes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we eat one or two on the way. <laughs> oh, well, it's the thought that counts. You must get in bed immediately more. Yes, I am starting to feel cold again. Uh, Master D, I have a small gift for you. Oh, thank you, Jamila. Huh, you try. Very kind of you. Yes. <laughs> A little big. Yeah. Well, uh, keep me warm. <laughs> oh, blimey. You will not be needing to wear any gloves. <laughs> well, perhaps it'll shrink. Come, Monsieur Brown, I must have you in bed. Huh? Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, uh, let me tuck you in. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so, yeah. Oh, is that better? Yeah, I'm starting to feel warm all over now. <laughs> Jerry and I, and I will make you some hot milk. Ha! Huh, hot milk? Most good for worms. Worms? I haven't got worms. <laughs> Not worms. A oh, worms! That's you! Do you mean colds? Oh. Of course. Huh. <laughs> well, I must say it's very good of you all to come and visit me. Take a chair each. Jelly good. <laughs> Where do you wish us to take chair? I don't want you to take them anywhere. Just, just sit down on them over here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Brown? <laughs> I ring the doctor. It's more important we ring the priest. Priest? What for? The last sacrament. You may be dead before the doctor comes. <laughs> oh, great. You may as well go all the way and send for the undertaker. Okay, what's his address? Oh. <laughs> Excuse, please. He's not being poisoned. Oh. Monsieur Brown, I have spilled all the milk all over my dress, and now it will be ruined. You haven't spilled the whole pint, have you? That was for day and tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, you better go and sponge it off in the bathroom. <coughs> Are you all right? You have gone a funny colour. I think it was something I just drank. <laughs> Shall I give you the kiss of life? Yes. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Catch my cold. You can give me the kiss of life, please. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so you like the kissing, yes? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, good. I shall give both of you the most beautiful French kiss. Mm. Oh. oh, I wonder who's going to be first. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> yes, just go home. You don't want us to stay. Oh, no, no, I appreciate your calling, but uh, it's just that I would recover much quicker if I were left alone. Okay, we got to the pub. We help you much better soon, Mr. Brown. Come on, Ali. Kalinita. Buena nota. Good evening. Come on back. Oh, yes. <laughs> We are all each of us bring you something to cheer you up. Jamaica ram. Oh. French wine. Greek ouzo. Oh. Italian grappa. Hey, you taste that, huh? Oh. Giovanni, what time do you call this? Uh, 
Ten past seven. <laughs> You're late. Haven't you got a watch? Ah, oh, I had a watch. It was a beautiful watch. It was rust-proof, shocker-proof, waterproof, everything. The only trouble is it wasn't quite superproof. Superproof? Yeah. Last night I'm working in the restaurant and whoops at the daisy, I dropped it in the sofa. My aunt, have you seen one? One what? Juan Cervantes. Oh, scusi, no. Where the devil has he got to? Giovanni? Yep. Fick. Fick. That's right. No, there's no such word as fick. Sure there is. My boss is English and he say lots of times, through thick and through thin. <laughs> yes, well, your boss's grammar isn't very good and don't give me the old chestnut about his grandma being very good for her age. I not say that. Good. She's dead. <laughs> Why, aunt, everybody, look, there's far too much levity in this class. Don't forget that you have your exams coming up shortly. Now, try and take it seriously, please. Giovanni, a word beginning with F. Female. Good. Well done. <laughs> palabra. Ah, palabra. Giovanni, can you give me a word beginning with the letter O? Horrible. No. <laughs> Holiday? No. Hopeless? <laughs> yes, you are. You keep dropping your aspirates. Huh? <laughs> I'm not drop nothing. No, 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 no. Aspirate is the sound made by the letter H. The words you've given me all start with H and not with an O. Scusi. I want a word beginning with O. Come on. How to say it? That's better. Uh, I'll be as quick as I can. Giovanni, would you take charge of the class? See, si, Professor. What do you want? You're supposed to be studying the books. Who says so? I say so. Yeah? Look, professor is put to me in charge. You gotta do what I tell you. Now, I'm gonna ask her the questions and you're gonna give me the answers. Hokey cocky. <laughs> Ali. Uh-huh. Yeah, yes, please. What is a noun? Oh, blimey. It is very simple. Nauna is a lady who is living in a convent. <laughs> That's a nana. Hey, Jamila. <laughs> What's the plural of a thief? Ah? Huh? The plural of a thief. A thief. Robbers. No, no, no not the robbers. Uh. Look. These are robbers. <laughs> now, look, one a thief, two... Thieves. That's better. Max, what's the opposite of bitter? Lotter. <laughs> That's not right. Sure it is. Opposite of bitter money is lotter money. Silencio. <laughs> Thank you, Giovanni. You can sit down now. Uh, Juan, I'm the faintest idea. Hey, maybe he's a spy. Juan, I ask you the question. What is the name for a group of cows? For what? Hey, come on, you know what I'm saying. You might have fooled Professor, you're not to fool me, huh? Now, what's the name for a group of cows? I don't know. A herd of cows. For what? Herd of cows. Sure, I heard of cows. <laughs> Santa Maria, a herd of cows is a lot of cows. <laughs> and you speak a lot of bulls. <laughs> right. Thank you, Giovanni. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I tell you, Professor, I don't know how you put up with all these foreigners. <laughs> Giovanni, would you like... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, well, not to worry. Oh, good evening, Giovanni. Oh, it's not good anything. Why, what's the matter? I've got a terrible overhang. <laughs> well, the word is hangover. Well, whatever it is, I've got it. I drank too much vino at lunchtime. Oh, it's fatal to drink at midday. Oh, oh. oh, good evening, Max. Oh, please, don't speak too loud. I am thinking you have been also looking on the wine too much. That's the trouble. He's not looking, he's drinking like me. Yeah, why did you drink so much? It was the feast of my patron saint, Saint Maximilian. So we had a drink. Then we drink to my patron, Saint Giovanni. Then we have a drink for my patriarch. Then one for the Pope. Archimedes. Leonardo da Vinci. Melina Mercuri. Sophia Loren. And after that, 
I remember nothing. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, well, you better go and sit down gently. The sea religion is the true faith? That's not true. Catholic religion is a true faith. Yeah. Actually, you're all wrong. According to the Bible, the original true faith was the Jewish one. I don't believe it. It's true, it's holy writ. Uh, Giovanni, what is an epistle? That's easy. An epistle is the wife of an apostle. <laughs> That's you, huh? I'm wrong. Yes, an epistle is a letter. He's bigger than you, Max. Everybody's bigger than Max. <laughs> hey! Watch what you're saying, huh? Uh, listen, Nana Mascuri, you don't frighten me. <laughs> OK, come outside. Oh. No, all right. I'll see you later. Don't forget the old one, too. Hey, hey, kid. Professor, eh? Hello, Giovanni. This fight. What about it? Right. Right. Well, we show you how to win. When you get in the ring, first, you smash him in the stomach. <laughs> and when his head comes down, you knee him under the chin. No, 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 no. Much better. Chop on the back of the head. No, 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 no. First, you hit him in the throat, and then you butt him in the stomach. No, no, no. All right, I'll do. I'm not going to more fighting. You're here to learn English. I mean, not, don't forget why you're here. Right, so now, who haven't I asked a question so far? Right. Oh, somebody stop him, please. Silencio. Hey, I do good, eh? Yeah, it's good. Yo soy un talento. I am the big talent, the big brain. Yeah, it goes with your big head. Oh, oh, hey, no, 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 don't stop. It's not going to be any fight. You not mean that. I do. Santa Maria, what about all the money we bet? Yes. <laughs> money? You mean you're betting on the result? Sure. We all put in one pound each. What, ten pounds on me to win? No, we back the other fellow. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I'm only joking. Sure, we back you to win. <laughs> We're gonna lose our money. Well, we got to do something. I have an idea. Hey, that's a good idea. Hey, Mr. Woodwork, you box real good, you know? Thanks. <laughs> Listen, you boxed before? No, I once or twice. I don't reckon your Mr. Brown stands much of a chance. Well, maybe. Somehow, I don't think I like to be in your shoes, you know? Yeah, no. My substitute. <laughs> Giovanni, what were you and Juan quarrelling over? Well, he's to make a fun of Santa Maria. Look, Santa Maria, the Virgin Mary. No, Luigi Santa Maria, the Italian footballer. <laughs> Italian footballers, animals. You shut your mouth, you big Spanish onion. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you all spent half as much energy. When you are dead, that is the end. That's not true. When you die, you go to heaven. Well. Us the Catholics go to heaven. <laughs> what about everybody else? Everybody else go to hell. <laughs> oh, Giovanni, what should we give you to speak about? Girls. <laughs> I don't think so, Giovanni. Have you any hobbies? Sure. My favorite hobby is girls. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you any other hobbies? Sure, but not as good. <laughs> I know it's difficult for you, Giovanni, but try and speak for one minute without bringing girls into your conversation. OK. I've got two other hobbies. The first hobby is making the wine. What's the second hobby? Drinking it. <laughs> After I drink it, I do my third hobby. But you don't let me talk about that. <laughs> hey, my friend Vincenzo, his hobby is pinching. Oh, you mean he's a thief? No, not a thief. But he said his hobby was pinching. What does he pinch? You don't let me talk about that either. <laughs> Thank you, Giovanni. That'll do. Thank you. I must say, I do often wonder sometimes whether I have any brothers or sisters. Hey, we be your brothers and sisters. Yeah. Sure, oh, son. Yes. Hey. hey, boys, look. Here is Mr. Brown. What are you all doing here? Uh -huh. It makes a change. Yes. Can't we, Danielle? Quick. What do you do tonight? Why you ask? Well, there's a dance at the students' club. You want to come? Hey. I was going to ask Daniel to come with me. Ah, too bad. I ask her first. What do you say? Well, I like very much to dance. Good. But... I show you how to do the Italian shuffle. You stand there like this. Then you put your arms around my neck. 
I put my arms around your waist. Then we put our cheeks together. What do we do next? Who cares? Oh. Well, I do hope I'm not interrupting anything. I was just showing Daniel how to dance the Italian shuffle. Yeah, well, kindly shuffle back to your seats. <laughs> right, now, part of your examination next week will consist of reading Giovanni. Continuous as the stars that shine. Continuous as the stars that shine. Continuous as the stars that shine. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm losing again. Good evening, all. Oh, hello, Seed. Hey, how you doing? Do what? How are you doing? Oh, thanks very much. I'll have a pint. <laughs> I said, how are you doing? Not what you're having. Do what? Never mind. Come on. Oh. Hello, Carly. What can I get you? How about excited? <laughs> you are the 500th person to say that tonight. You win our star award, a beer mat. Oh, thanks. And a point for Sid. Thelma Ritter. Thelma Ritter, eh? I'm Giovanni Capello. No, oh, that's not a name. Thelma Ritter means a pint of bitter. It's Cockney rhyming slang. Ah, oh, sure, I remember. At 42 pence. And a packet of assorted peas nuts, please. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks a lot. Hey, how's the Las Vegas kid doing, huh? Terrible. You never win nothing on this machine. I tell you, he's fixed. Oh, no. Lady behind bar telling me it is nearly time for somebody to be winning in the jack in the pot. <laughs> I try again. But this time, I'm not looking. See, I tell you, you not win nothing. Ah, yes, but I'm getting three bars. Look, if I'm holding them, next time I'll be winning. You have already spent one pound. Yes, but if I'm getting another bar, I'll be collecting five pounds. Oh, dearie me, I'm not having any more ten piece. Could you be changing this, please? Sorry, Ali, I spent all my change. Maxi, I ain't got any ten piece. I'll be losing the jack in the pot. <laughs> Ah, Professor! Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Brown. Hey, you want to tell me Ritter? Pardon? Tell me Ritter, Peter. You've been talking to Sid the caretaker ah, again. Good help. Sure, he's teaching me more of his cockeyed slanging rhyme. <laughs> cockney. Ah, excuse me. Max. Yes, Mr. Brown. It's a point of interest. Do you happen to remember what a cockney is? Please, Mr. Brown, would you be having changes for a pound to be putting in the machine? Oh, you're wasting your money, Ellie. Oh, no, I'm sure to be winning. I'm holding three bars. Oh, well, it's your money. Let's have a look. Uh, Good evening, everybody. Oh, 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 Excuse me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, you damn fool? I'm having a go on this machine, you pit. <laughs> Why a pair of you? Look, why don't you share the money? That's a good idea. There's five of us. <laughs> One pound each. I meant between Ali and Ranjit. Actually, it's time you're all back at school. It's your exams tomorrow. You should take every opportunity to study. I know. Okay, Koki. <laughs> we go. Come on, Ali, you too. <laughs> Has he gone out too? Uh, uh, toilet. I beg your pardon. A tea toilet. Room. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wanna say that, everybody? Has anybody got a pen? Yeah, but please remember who it belongs to. Sure, I remember. Hey, Ari, what are you doing? I tell you, I've just been studying my verbs, so I'm going to write them down on my hand so I don't forget. Typical uh, of Western dishonesty. No, I think it's a good idea. Hey, you want to write verb tenses too? No, I'm hockey on verbs, but uh, no good on pronouns. So write the pronouns. No need. I already write them on handkerchief. <laughs> Good luck, Giovanni. Uh, uh, thanks, Professor. You're not too nervous to shake hands, are you? Oh, see, I'm very nervous. Oh, nonsense. Come on, there. That didn't hurt, did it? Not a lot. <laughs> Ranjit, that's funny. Where did that ink come from? <laughs> Maybe your pen has got a leak. Let me see your hand, Giovanni. There's nothing there, Professor. Yeah, the other one. It's nothing there either. But there's something there, though, isn't there? 
Oh, no! My pen's got a leak as well. <laughs> as those while it was leaking, it just happened to write a few verbs down. Sorry, Professor, my verbs is a bit bad. Yeah, well, I suggest you clean all that off. I don't seem to have a handkerchief myself. Max has got a handkerchief. Well, have you finished? Yes, please. How do you do? Oh, I'm very well. Uh, have you all got a drink? Yeah. 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 Well, I'd just like to say uh, I wish you all every success. Uh, it's been great uh, teaching you, and, well, I shall miss you. Professori, it's been a real pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it won't be the same next time. Well, I'm very proud of you all. I, I knew you wouldn't let me down. Ah. <laughs> right, uh, shall we have another drink? Yes! Yeah. 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 Well, who's round, is it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.